My name is Alan Hart and today I've got Stephen from Powder Flush with us to answer some questions. Um, thank you to everybody who asked questions on the last video, on the last Powder Flush video. We're going to do some demonstrations today and we're going to try and answer some of the questions that's been asked like um, putting the pellets through pumps and um, plate heat exchangers etc etc. So yeah, so I'll pass you over to Stephen and yeah, to answer some of them questions. Thanks Ellen for having us back. Um, one of the first things we want to show is how the pellets can go through a plate heat exchanger and clean it. Uh, we have this plate heat exchanger and it's really dirty and blocked as you can see. And in the next shot we're going to clean it up. So what I've done here is I've put a fitting on so we can flush straight through the heat exchanger. Normally we wouldn't need to take this out of the boiler, we'd do it in situ, but uh, for the demonstration we took it out so I can actually show that it'll go all the way through. So depending on the size of uh, what we want to clean, we can use different size pellets. Uh, we have our biggest ones here, and then you have the like a middle size one, and then you have the really small ones which we're going to use for this heat exchanger. It'll fit neatly through those little gaps. So uh, all I need to do is pour it inside. So I'm going to connect the pipe uh, to the, the fitting so we can clean it. Uh, we don't need to flush it forwards and backwards. We only need to pass the pellets through this uh, once to get it clean. So now we're ready to powder flush. So a lot of you have been asking about how we can clean pumps uh, and magnetic filters. So we're going to do a little demonstration about how to clean them in situ. Um, we have some rust over here to show you how it looks before. And then now we're going to powder flush straight through the pump and straight through the filter. explain what we actually did there is we were able to fit pellets that are actually larger than the openings in the impellers through the impeller blades because they would be dissolving in the flow as it goes past and as soon as it gets to the right size it'll squeeze through that narrow opening opening and cleaning that section out some of the questions asked was uh, why do we use different sized pellets and um, it's quite simple um, because we want to clean in one pass we need to use larger pellets for larger pipes and smaller pellets for smaller pipes how long they take to dissolve would depend on the water temperature and um, that is it's it's quite an expert thing to to get that exactly right for the situation and um, the other question asked was where can we buy the pellets and the answer is that we currently don't sell the pellets um, we have our own teams that go around the country and perform the service, but uh, normal engineers at the moment can't buy the pellets in the shop or, or from us. I'd like to thank Stephen from Powder Flush for coming along and demonstrating the product for us today. It's been, it's been really good, it's been fun. If you've got any questions, if you could ask them in the comments below. We're going to do a follow-up video to this and we're going to try and answer as many questions as we can. We're going to do an on-site, um, we're going to do a job, we're going to, well, we're going to try and find um, a really bad sludged up system that we can do, um, do a video on. So yeah, so if you've got any questions, ask them in the comments below and we'll do as best to answer, answer them for you. Thanks for watching.